So I don't cry tears of joy often because I don't have the time. But the last time I cried tears of joy, it's because of today's guest. Because they started and co-wrote my new favorite movie. It is Hulu's hit movie called Happiest Season. I'm so excited to talk to Mary Holland today. Let's do it also. Sunglasses inside, that's a choice. Let's go. Oh my god, Mary, I'm so excited to talk to you. Yes! I'm excited. My arc of becoming obsessed with you is quite steep. I have to just, I'm just gonna put all my oh. cards on the table. I am obsessed with Happiest Season. I, we'll talk about all the things related to that, but I feel like you have so much going on this year. This is your year. 2020 has been such an interesting year for so many reasons. Because you got married. I did get married, that's right. During the pandemic. So how did this happen? Did you get to have your big wedding? No, no, we did not. We had to uh, shift plans, as I'm sure so many people have had to do this year. Um, we decided to get married right here, right at home in our carport, which is, you know, a dream venue. Hold on one second. I don't <laughs> know if I'm a stupid person, which is possible. <laughs> what is a carport? It's at like a garage, but it, it's not enclosed. It's kind of like a, it's a carport. So if I understand correctly, a carport is a carport. Um, <laughs> That's exactly okay. it. Now you've got so it. It's a, so it's a roof. Yes, it's basically a roof, yes. I just want to take a crew poll. Can you yell out yes or no if you knew what a carport was on the count of one, two, three? One, two, three. Yes. <laughs> Apparently, I'm the idiot. OK, so sorry. <laughs> For not knowing, okay, so you're in a carport, you get married. Yes, we're in a carport. Is your family there? No, they're not. Well, they are there. They're they're joining over Zoom. So we had some iPhones set up and uh, we had our, our family and loved ones on the Zoom and then we, we got married, yeah. And um, it was very exciting. So how, Very special. how was it for your family though? Did they also get dressed up? Like, I'm always wondering if you're attending a Zoom wedding, are you also dressing up? Like, are you shaving your legs? Are you doing the whole thing? Right. I would never expect anyone to shave their legs. I mean, even if they came to the wedding in person, I would never expect that of anybody. We, we got married on Halloween and we sort of left it open to our guests whether they wanted to dress up or if they wanted to wear a Halloween costume, they were welcome to do that. And most people chose Halloween costume, which was a, a, a real joy for us. Wait. <laughs> I love you. You're telling me that for your wedding, guests were dressed in Halloween costumes? Yes, my sister was dressed as Morticia Adams, and my father was dressed up as Kevin Costner's character from the show Yellowstone. So <laughs> <laughs> he had like a mustache and a cowboy hat, and um, it even I, he was so in character that at the at the end of the ceremony we we um, left the Zoom floor open for anybody to give toasts if they wanted to, and um, my father didn't give a toast. Kevin Costner gave a toast <laughs> and talked about how he was so sad that my dad couldn't be here for his daughter's <laughs> wedding. <laughs> we really gave our guests creative freedom because it was on a Zoom. <laughs> and I wonder, I don't think Kevin Costner would have showed up to my wedding if it was in person. <laughs> so, the silver linings. Congratulations so much on your carport. Exactly. Idiots, Thank carport, you. it's an open garage. With nice. the roof. Get on the same page, people, on your wedding. <laughs> but let's talk about Happiest Season. It broke records on Hulu. It has been talked about on the interwebs by everyone and their mothers. Um, you wrote it with Clea Duvall. <laughs> what was that experience like? Why did you want to tell this story? Um, tell me all the things about it. Yeah, Clea and I met working on Veep, and um, she had the idea for Happiest Season. And, you know, it's a, it's a story that's really personal to her and, and inspired by by her experiences. And so I, I thought the story was so beautiful and I learned so much from writing with Clea. And, and I genuinely, when I say this, I mean it with every ounce of my body. I'm not just being talk show host that's gonna say, hey, welcome to the show, I like your stuff. <laughs> I genuinely, watching the film, I was like, I relate to this so much because I've had a similar experience, you know, being a full-fledged adult and having this part of your life be very confusing. I related to so much. And so it just pulled all of my heartstrings and I yeah. laughed and I cried. I'm going to put my own money into the marketing of this movie so everyone sees it because I believe in it so much. <laughs> and so we have, a, we have a clip from the film that <laughs> I would like so to funny. show. Check out this clip from Happy Season. Where's Dad? Uh, he's on a call. OK. Well, you need to Oh, Jane. Oh, I have asked you not to do that. I know. I didn't listen. Oh. Yay. I didn't 
think you'd be here, but uh, here you are. I didn't want to wait one well, more second this? to see my little sis. Oh, I was changing the air filters. Sticky. Thank you, Jane. <laughs> yeah, hi, you must be Abby. Yeah, nice to meet you. You too. Um, I'm so sorry about your parents. Oh, no. It, it happened a long time ago. You're so brave. <laughs> you don't need to be. Jane, oh, Mom, he just... Okay, that's enough, Jane. Jane, too much. The nuances of your character, I'm obsessed. She's awkward in social settings. She doesn't pick up social cues always. Did you know exactly what your character was going to sound like just from looking at the page? Or did you kind of have to become her, mm -hmm. step into the, in, in, onto the set and kind of figure out that voice then? We knew that I was going to play her in the writing process. I, I told Clea that I wanted to play that part. I definitely felt like she was just kind of there with me all along. It, it, it was such a blast uh, being in her shoes during the shooting of this. I and mean, it was a blast watching it as well. And that's just a subtle flex of like, I was writing, wrote the character for myself. I said I wanted to play the character, so then naturally I did play the character. I'm sitting here like, is that how that works? Is that what I should be doing? Is, is that how I should be doing life? I mean, listen, <laughs> I'm surprised, as surprised as you are. It, it really, I, I, you know, Clea was so generous with me and in, in, um, uh, letting me play that part and then, and then Writing that with me, it was, yeah, okay. so lucky. Now for the real questions, the basic questions, the questions I really want to ask you, which is, you were on a set, fabulous set. What did you steal from the set? Okay, well. <laughs> now listen, I didn't steal this, mm -hmm. but I did request to have it shipped across the country to me. Jane, I, I don't know if you caught it in the, um, when she does her book signing, there is a full size cardboard cutout of Jane. And so I asked Teresa to please, you know, um, put any and all money towards shipping that to me safely. <laughs> I, I have a, a life size cardboard cutout of myself, but listen, you're not gonna be surprised to know that it's actually my second one. I have two life size cardboard cutouts. My husband actually once took a, a cardboard cutout, one of those cardboard cutouts, and I didn't know this, but he put it in my bathroom. And so I went, when I went to use the bathroom, I was, I was scared by myself. <laughs> and I had a real existential crisis where I was like, is that me? Who am I? What is? <laughs> What is reality? And the fact that your like husband was... did that just proves that you married the right guy. Because <laughs> that's that's gold right I there. think so too. I mentioned the, the movie had people on the internet talking so much and a huge debate sparked, you know, of which which who we're gonna right. ship. And that was is should Kristen's character be with Mackenzie Davis or with Aubrey Plaza? Which way? Because there's points in the film where you're like, oh my god, this could go either way. <laughs> so did this end how you wanted it to end, or do you low-key? You low key wish it went the other way. <laughs> Spill the tea. No, it absolutely ended how I wanted it to. End. Okay. I, I it was so important to both Clea and I that that Abby and Harper have a have a happy ending and and that you know you get to see Harper's character understand herself and like reveal her authentic self to her family. So it definitely ended how I wanted it to end. But I really appreciate the. The debate that's happening, it's its so cool to see people really invested in these characters and the story. Yeah, maybe, I don't know, Christmas present, you could write like a fanfic where you're like, in an alternate universe, maybe Kristen <laughs> sure. would, you know? I don't know, just, just gonna plant that seed. <laughs>